Summertime is my favorite time of the year. Why? Fresh Alaska sockeye salmon. It's available frozen year round, but fresh during the summer months. It's wild, all natural, and harvested from the pristine waters of the North Pacific Ocean. All of Alaska's seafood is sustainable, and harvesting is highly regulated, so much so that they've written it into the state's constitution. Now to me, fish has to swim twice, once in water, then in butter and wine. My favorite for this butter wine caper sauce is the Francis Coppola Diamond Collection Chardonnay. And since the Alaska sockeye salmon is a dark flesh fish, you can also use the Francis Coppola Diamond Collection Claret Cabernet Sauvignon, which will add a little bit of a raspberry flavor, in essence, to that sauce. Now we're gonna start by heating our skillet over medium high heat for at least one minute. In the meantime, let's prep our sockeye salmon. And we're gonna leave the skin on during cooking to retain that nice, beautiful moisture in there. And for portion sizes, I like to go about three fingers wide per serving. Now, I'm not really a fan of using any kind of seasoning on my fresh sockeye salmon. It kind of hides the flavors. To me, it's just kosher salt, fresh cracked pepper. Now that our pan is hot, we're gonna add our oil to the skillet. Let's swirl the coat. And we're gonna place in our fillets putting them in first and then rolling them away from you so you don't get splashed by that hot oil. Now after about two minutes, we'll go ahead and give them a turn. Show them that beautiful color on there, bronzing. Now you can leave the skin on if you like, but if you don't want it on there, just grab one corner with your tongs and pull it right off. We'll give it one more turn. Alaska sockeye salmon has a built-in timer to see when it's done. When you start to see the flesh separate like this, you know it's getting really close. The total cooking time is really only four to five minutes. And even though you remove it from the pan and place it on the plate to set aside to rest, it's gonna to continue to cook, and you'll gain five more degrees internally on the temperature. Now we're gonna dab some of the excess oil from the skillet with a paper towel. And we'll add our drained capers that have been rinsed, and we're gonna smash a few of them to extract some of that flavor. And remove the skillet from the heat, especially if you're using gas, so it doesn't flame up. And we'll add the Coppola Diamond Collection Chardonnay Wine. Turn it to the heat. Now while the wine's reducing, enjoy a glass of the Coppola Chardonnay wine. This Chardonnay has juicy flavors of pear, tropical fruit, and citrus with alluring aromas of spice and toasted oak, and finishes with a light, creamy texture. And if you like red, the sauce can be made with the Coppola Claret wine. This Cabernet Sauvignon-based wine is blended in the classic Bordeaux style. It has exceptional depth and texture, and truly unique flavors of raspberry, oak, and light vanilla. Now the key to a really great wine sauce is to reduce your wine down by 75%, so it's almost completely evaporated. Then we're gonna add a few drops of lemon juice so the cold butter will emulsify. Now that the sauce is reduced to almost nothing, we're gonna add a few drops of lemon juice, and we'll add our butter, one pat at a time, and we'll whisk it in.